You've been working hard and now you've got your HTML code and you're ready to share it to the world. I'm gonna show you how and an easy way to get a web URL because this file that we've been working on is just sitting on my computer and if I wanted to show it off to somebody, I can't. I can bring them over to my computer and show them or I need to get a web server and upload it to the web server. So this is gonna be a quick lesson on setting up a GitHub page and it's a bonus lesson, it's an optional lesson. So it's not having to do with HTML, but it's just a matter of hosting your HTML and it really easy. So we've been working through how to set up essentially a website, a kind of a resume type site. And we've got all of the code already sitting within the editor. So let's go over to GitHub. It's located at github.com. It's a great place for developers to share their source code, to collaborate with source code. And as a developer, you're gonna see GitHub coming up all the time. So if you don't already have an account, go ahead and sign up for account. I already do have an account, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sign into my GitHub account. And once you're logged in, then you go to repositories and create a brand new repository and specifying the repository name. So I'm just gonna call this resume, set it to public. You can also initialize a readme file. So the readme file is just an information file about what this repository is about. So it's always good to have within the repository in case you always wanna check back and see what you are working on and what the purpose of this repository is. Especially when you get lots of repositories, it's gonna make a lot more sense. I'm gonna go ahead and dismiss. And there's an option to create a new file. So go ahead and create a new file. And the new file that we are gonna be creating is just gonna be an index.html. And we've got our edit, so the new view, and then we've got preview. So this is where we can copy and paste our code that we've been working on. So I'm just gonna go over to here, to my editor, and I'm gonna grab that whole index.html code. And don't worry, you can always update the content contained within your GitHub repository at any time. And once you're happy, then just go down to the bottom and create index.html, and you can add yourself additional information as needed. So commit the new file, and you can just commit it directly to the master branch. And then you can always open it up and edit it anytime that you want. And this is where the fun part of it comes in because this is where you can publish it to GitHub pages. So under settings, click the settings button, repository name, and then go all the way down to where it says GitHub pages. Under source, select the master branch or whatever branch that you're on. And you can see that it provides you a link. Your site is ready to be published and it provides you a web URL. So when you click that, you can see what that looks like. And this is gonna be your URL to the web content that you've just created within the course. And this is a web URL that you can share to the world. And that's it. So next time you make any changes to the code, and I'm gonna go quickly and just do a quick update to this code, edit the code. And you can always copy and paste it. And I'm gonna get rid of some of this content, commit the changes. And it usually does take a few minutes for your changes to take place. So depending on when it updates, and then eventually you'll find that the updates have taken place and your URL, your live content has changed. So your site is published and you can see this is the URL that you can share. There's also the option of going into CodePen so I'm gonna copy all of this content that we had, go over to my code pen within the HTML area, paste all of my code pen content. And this is also another way if I do save, if I have a code pen account, I can save that as a web URL and I can share it. But the difference here is that this is actually sharing with the code and it's meant to be updated whereas this is just a web URL that you can share with anyone and they can go to it and they can check out your work, your HTML work. Thanks again for taking the course. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know within the Q&A section. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to try the code out for yourself and to get more familiar with how HTML works.